Hey, what's going on, family? You guys know what time it is. It is another episode of Eat Up Mondays. I pray that you guys had a great weekend. Just want to say thank you for joining me. Listen, before we get into the meal, if you have not liked this video already, please stop and give it a like. Um, if you want to wait until you finish the video to make sure that you like the video and that it is encouraging to you, well, wait until the end and like the video. But whatever you do, if it's encouraging to you, please don't forget to like it and share it with somebody else. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do not forget to click that subscribe button. And after you click that button, click the bell. It will notify you every time we upload a video. Listen. I just want to say I've been very encouraged by all the comments dealing with some of the things I've talked about in the last couple of weeks, whether it's been on Eat Up Mondays or the podcast, because I've been talking uh, a lot about the elections and how we should deal with the elections, how we should keep our faith in God, you know, the things that we should be praying about, praying about, you know, God's will being done and just all of the things that I talked about. I just want to say thank you for your comments. And this Thursday, I want to talk about a couple of comments on the videos and just touch a little bit more on that topic when it comes to dealing with this presidency and just all of the things that we've seen happen in the last couple of weeks and some of the things that we still see happening. So we'll we'll deal with that on Thursday. But today I want to talk to you guys about something that I think is very important and that I think will be encouraging to you. So listen, the meal is on the table. I've done enough talking over the food. So without further ado, guys, let's dig in. Now, our foundation scripture, our meal scripture is going to be coming out of 2 Corinthians 5, uh, verse 17. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. This is probably going to be a familiar scripture to many of you, but this is how the scripture reads as follows. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Let me read that one more time. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Why do I want to talk about this scripture on today? I'm glad you guys asked. And I really want to take my time with this because I think that it is very important that we remember this. What the scripture says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Recently, yesterday, I believe, I just was sitting and kind of just reflecting on some of the decisions that I've made in the past before I was saved. And maybe I might have reflected on some that I made while I was saved. But just kind of reflecting on those decisions. And I've had these conversations with friends of mine. You know, sometimes we just kind of talk about how, man, you know, I wish I would have done this different in the past. I wish I wouldn't have made this decision. I wish I would have made this decision. I wish I would have been better in dealing with this relationship. Or I wish I, I wish I would have cut off this relationship. You know, like we reflect back and just talk about some of the decisions that we made that you know, we feel may have impacted our lives, obviously in a negative way. And when I was just sitting and just kind of reflecting on a couple of those things, like, man, you know, I could have handled this situation a lot better, or maybe this person would feel a little different about me today. If back then I hadn't done X, Y, and Z, or if I had done X, Y, and Z, and just kind of thinking of all of that, you know, it just reminded me of this scripture because a lot of times as human beings, that's what we do. We'll sit and wish that we could have had a do over on some type of decision we made when unfortunately there are no do overs in life. You know, we may have a opportunity. God may put us in a position to maybe make a relationship better that we might have messed up on, you know, a long time ago, or maybe there might have been a career or a business or something that we had that we started years ago that we messed up on and now God has reopened that door and we're able to do that business or career a better way. Like God gives us those opportunities, but what God doesn't want us to do is 
dwell and just think about the things that we have no longer any control over. And what I mean by that is the decisions that we made in the past, the things that we did that we cannot fix right now. Those things are, 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 are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now God is allowing us to look at those things and not only look at those things and, and we've become better at those things, but now we can also counsel people and encourage people that have made the same decisions and how to deal with those and get even better results than we had because we didn't have the Lord in our lives at the time. So of course we're going to look back and say, man, I wish I can go back and do that over and do this over. Why? Because we now have the Lord. We now know how to handle those situations because we now have the, the scriptures instructing us. We now have the Holy Ghost leading us. So of course, if we were back in those situations, we would make the right decision. But without the Holy Spirit, without being one with God, we probably would have made that same decision a hundred times. So I wanted to encourage you guys, listen, if the enemy is bringing up your past or you're just kind of sitting and reflecting on some decisions you made because maybe some of those decisions and the outcome of those decisions sometimes are right in your face. Maybe some of the people that you hurt or wronged, or maybe some of the people that wronged you, you may still see them and just feel a type of way about it. But you have to remember that, listen, we can't live in the past. We can't find ourselves dwelling on those old things. And I'm not saying that sometimes it isn't good to just reflect on certain things because maybe you might in this present time come against a similar situation and you may have to reflect back to like, listen, I don't want to do what I did last time. I don't want to make that decision. And sometimes that's just the Lord reminding us of what we did last time and what not to do. But when we are sitting down and making a movie about the past decisions that we've made and how much they've affected our lives and, you know, how, how, how bad things probably are because of those decisions that we made it's, it's like no you know those of us that are in christ now you know we are a new creature those old things are passed away behold all things have become new so i'm here to encourage you don't dwell on the past move forward it's just like god told the children of israel through moses and exodus you know he told him listen Tell the people to move forward because, you know, they pretty much were stagnated. He was like, listen, tell them to move forward. Tell them to get to the place where I told them that I wanted them to be because that is going to be the place where I'm going to get rid of their enemies and they're not going to see their enemies no more. And I think sometimes we don't realize if we don't keep moving forward, if we don't keep looking ahead, we will become stagnated and stuck in the same place. And now God can't really move in our lives the way that he would like to move. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, stop dwelling on what you didn't do right and what you did wrong or what you could have done. Because guess what? You have a new life now. God has switched your life around. God has opened new doors for you. God has given some of you guys the opportunity to make some of those relationships right. Listen, God is not holding the sin of your past over your head, so you shouldn't allow people to. So if you've asked somebody forgiveness that you wronged and they just won't let it go and they keep trying to bring it up, listen, that's no longer my life. I am a new creature now. I don't live that way. I don't make decisions the way that I used to. Don't try to hold my past over my head because I'm not holding my I pass over my head. I'm looking forward. I'm moving forward just like the Lord wants me to. And by doing that, I am able to help people in my future. And as I go along, pressing forward. So I want to encourage you guys, listen, don't allow your past to keep a grip on you, to keep a hold on you and make you dwell on things that you have no control over any longer. That's why I had that t-shirt made um, that there are no do-overs in life, but God, you know, and you guys can find that if you go down um, in the description, if you look below the YouTube videos and you look through the t-shirts, I had a t-shirt made like that because I think it's very important that we constantly remind ourselves there's no do-overs in life, you know, unless God opens that door for us to do that particular thing over, but we can't dwell on things that we can't go back in and fix. You know, they are where they are. And guess what? God allowed those things to happen. He knew we was going to do them. We did them. But this is the beautiful thing about God. 
He takes those mistakes and those decisions that we made and he turns them into a testimony for us. You know, some of those people that we may have, you know, didn't get along with or may have wronged or they may have wronged us. This new life that we have in Christ that they see us walking forward in and see a change in our lives. And they know it's a change because they know how we used to be or they know how they used to be and how they used to treat us and how we used to react to it. And we no longer do that. Now they are able to look and say, listen, I know that Christ is real. I know that what God is doing in their life isn't fake because I know them from the past. You know, I, I know what they did to me in the past or I know what I did to them in the past and now they've forgiven me when in the past before they met Christ, they didn't want to have anything to do with me. They wouldn't even talk to me. They act like I didn't exist. But because they have found Christ and they have Christ in their lives, I'm able to see what it is that he is doing through them. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, listen, don't find yourselves, guys, holding on to your past. Move forward. Look forward. Listen, those decisions was made. God allowed them to be made. God is opening new doors for you. And he wants you to walk through those doors. And he wants you to remember, listen, just don't make those same decisions. Now that you have me, now that you have the scriptures, I'm now dwelling in you through my spirit. All you got to do is just allow me to lead you. And you won't ever have to worry about those types of decisions again. But when you lean to your own understanding, when you do things in your flesh, which that's what we used to do before we got saved, we lean to our own understanding. We did things the way we saw others do things. We did things the way that we were taught or seen done in our household if we lived in an unsaved household. And what happens when we see that and when we do those things? the outcome wasn't great. So I just wanted to encourage you guys. I know that I'm kind of going on and on over the same thing, but I really want you to get this down in your spirit because I see a lot of people, you know, online, when you talk to people, whatever have you, I see a lot of people that they wish they could have changed this. They wish they could have done that. They wish there was a do-over that could happen in their lives. And it's like, listen, if that door is closed and crisis closed that door and, you know, you don't have the opportunity to make that particular situation right, then it is what it is. That's what Christ's will is for your life. Don't try to go back and try to prove to anybody anything. God says, listen, you don't have to do that. All you need to do is prove yourself to me because I've already proven to you that I am God just by the way that I've changed your life. So you don't have to prove anything to anybody. You just have to be who God called you to be. And that's going to be enough proof. And if it's meant for them to forgive you, if it's meant for them to see you in a new light, then they will. So I just wanted you guys to be encouraged on today. Know that I love you. Listen, we're moving forward. We're not looking to the past. The past has nothing for us. We're living in the present and we're looking to the future in the Lord. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, our ending is definitely going to be better than our beginning. I love you guys. And until the next time we have a spiritual meal together, Shalom.